Sports. It's game five. With Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, this is Kevin Harlan, and we are hit for a treat. Bill C. Atlanta facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. You look at the Cavaliers. With the series tied two games apiece, a chance here to retake the series lead and put themselves in the driver's seat. Well, it's no secret, guys, that in this situation, the winner of Game 5 goes on to win the series the vast majority of the time. So they don't want to let this one get away from them. And they have to go out on the road and win Game 6 in hostile territory. Yeah, must win in a Game 6 on the road. Not the position you want to be in. I agree, Steve. They'd like to handle business here with their fans in front of them in a more comfortable environment at home. All right, let's set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. And so in the game for the Hawks. Mills have the power forward with Horford at center. On the wings, Corver and Carroll. And it's Chen in at the walk. Here's Della Vidoka after the made shot from Chen. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious the defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. The Cavaliers shooting their first free throws of the game. That free throw good from Kevin Love. Both free throws good from Kevin Love. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that plague some of the NBA's other big men. Chen passes to Millsap. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. The Atlanta shooting their first free throws of the evening. The first one falls. He's off on the second. And Waiters kicks to James. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Here's Waiters. Atlanta with the rebound. They'd like to continue the success they had on Friday night here. And whether their defense caused it or not in that game, I remember that it was a very cold night for the offense they were facing, Clark. Yeah, you know, watching that game, it didn't seem like they did anything spectacular defensively. But then you look at the numbers, and obviously they were doing a lot of things right. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Guys, I was able to talk with David Black for a minute. I asked him what he was going to emphasize to his team, and he told me it all comes down to wanting it more. Both of our teams came in and took away two games from the other. This series is going to be a tooth and nail fight, and whoever wants it more is going to take it. Let's see exactly how much they want it, gentlemen. Thanks, Doris. Here's the captain. Deion Waiters making his last shot. Got that one up quick. How about that? Gets it off right in the face of the big fella. Quick release. And operating on the perimeter like that negates some of the height disadvantage, too. Here's Delavidova. It's a pick by Love. Delavidova kicks to James. Barry Zhao with a screen on Horford. Passes it to Love. Six to shoot. Shoots from 14. And it's good. Well, nice way there to get your first basket of the game. For Atlanta, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Chen passes to Horford, and again, it's Atlanta. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four of their first five. The Cavaliers trailing. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Here's James. The layup off target. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. The shot's good from Chan. Here's Della Vidova. It's a pick by Love. Della Vidova dishes to LeBron. And he gets it to go. That's a weak defensive coverage there and I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that giving such easy access to the room here's the captain he's got six Corver passes to Chen and Atlanta again with the bucket boy they are passing the ball very crisply right now 
They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. Here's Double it over. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Knocks it loose, and that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Al Horford on top. And so here's Cleveland. They trail by three. The offensive rebound. Second chance shot. And it's laid up and in by Verizon. you got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. Feeds to Horford. Inside. No good from Chen. Had a pretty good look at the basket. But defensively, they did a nice job rotating, forcing the miss. It's tipped. James kicks to Verizon. Back to LeBron. Just five on the clock. It's two on one. Ahead, Horford with it. Guarded now by Kevin Love. And there's the pass to Chen. Puts one up from 19. Connects, the jumper drops. The captain's got 10 points in the game. Well, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Yeah, that's four straight trips, guys, where their passes have ended up in scores. Four straight assists. Great team play. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Thompson, he's checked in for Verizon. Marion comes in for Kevin Love. Jones checked in for LeBron. And Mike Miller subbed in for Waiters making substitutions here. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. The two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. Matthew Delavidova is out there with Dion Waiters. And it's Verizhao in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Here's Carroll. Pass to Millsap. Just four to shoot. Using his strength nicely there to ensure the rebound. Good work. Here's Waiters. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Delavid Over. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. Chen passes it to Kier. The feed to Corver. Here's Chen. Nails the 16-footer. The captain's got the lead up to six now for the Hawks. Easy little jump shot for him right there, guys. For Cleveland, they've gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooter. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Hey, guys, the captain in their last game against the Cavaliers got the job done. He ended up with 34 points, and he was able to dish out a few helpers to teammates as well. A performance like this was just the trick his team needed to snap their losing streak. Great, Doris. Thanks. Any chance we see him on top that performance at Clark here tonight? I'd say no chance, partner. <laughs> and that's not a knock against him. It's just that he was so good that night, I don't think he can possibly do it two games in a row. He was Kelloggian. <laughs> is that a word? We can use that word. It is, it is now. Oh, look at Steve. He didn't like that. Though. Uh, look at him. Well, let's just say he was really good. <laughs> Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. They really depend on him to convert those chances. A lot of times, even with solid D draped on him, they expect him to make it. And Waiters kicks to Verizhao. Can't hit from in close. The Hawks leading by seven. Pushing it up. Here's Carroll. There's the block. They get it back. Porter, good. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Delavidova. He's covered by Chen. Delavidova kicks to Waiters. Love with the screen for Waiters. LeBron drives in. Five on the clock. Verizhao trying to free himself up. LeBron with the bucket. 
James has got his second bucket of the game to go. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Chris Amundsen has checked in for Anderson Verja. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Al Horford, he's checked in for pain. The Hawks leading by seven. Over to the wing. Corver kicks to Carroll. Releases from 15. Here's Millsap. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Hawks lead by nine. That's some tenacity inside battling for the second chance points. Here's Delavido. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Here's LeBron, the turnaround jumper. Well, they finally gotten into a rhythm offensively this quarter, and if they keep shooting like this, they won't be down for long. Well, Steve, you can see them looking to cut that lead down little by little to turn things around, and that's how you got to do it. How do you eat a big pizza? <laughs> One slice at a time. <laughs> the Cavaliers have gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. He dishes it to Waiters. Love with the screen for Waiters. Love outside. Atlanta with the rebound. Corver's got his third rebound tonight. Passes it to Chen. 17-foot shot on the way. And again, it's Atlanta. And their field goal percentage continues to climb. They've really shot the ball well here today so far. Yeah, and it's all about quality shot selection, smart shot selection. They've been very patient on offense. And James throws it down. And how about that screen by Love? That was a wall. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Chen passes to Corford. He's looking for Horford and finds him. And the shot is good. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. Now here's LeBron. Eight points for him. They set the pick. Waiters dishes to Delavido. And Waiters kicks to Amundsen. Four on the shot clock. And that will be Cleveland as it goes out of bounds. So Cavaliers retain possession. I like it. I like it. All day long. And so it's Cleveland with it. 11-point game. Raiders no luck. Even that close to the hoop, when you when you see that kind of defense, I think you got to move the ball back out to the perimeter. Here's Teague. No good. And the first half is now in the books. Hawks on top. They're up by 11. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Quicken Loans Arena. Okay, guys, listen up. We're on the brink of a big win here. If we can build on the positives and eliminate the negatives, this is critical. At the offensive end of the floor, it's been a very intelligent display. We're hitting our shots because we're only taking smart shots, and that's the way we want to do it. Ball security was probably our high point. Let's continue to keep a tight handle on the ball and not try to thread too many needles with our passes. And I don't want us moving things along too quickly to start the third quarter. A casual tempo will suit us just fine right now. We've got a very clear job to do and only one half to do it. This is playoff basketball. I want everything you got. And we're back here at game five with more action about to get underway. 
You know, the captain has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, he played a very mature first half offensively, just finding gaps and making good decisions, getting into the defense and knocking down shots. Well, the way he played that first half, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency. The Hawks leading by 11. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. He'll have a power forward with Wolford at center. On the wings, Corver and Carroll. And it's Chen in at the point guard position. Della Vidola kicks to Verizhao. Pass to Waiters. And he lays it straight in. Waiters got the first points of the second half here for Cleveland. Here's the captain. From free throw range, Verizhout grabs the ball. Even though he missed it, he couldn't pass up that chance. Oh, look out! Oh, 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 oh. You know, it's a little surprising he goes for a slam that difficult <laughs> while they're trailing. Yeah, but still, you know what? A magnificent move to the rim. Agreed. Hey guys, I, I, look, I don't know what the score is. That's the play we're all going to remember from this game. Here is Corver following the score by Cleveland. He kicks it to Kirill. Here's Chen. And it's off the back rim. No good. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Pushing it up. A finish. And finished off by LeBron. Check out the bounce. Bounce. Bounce to the outs. Clark, how about that? Yeah. Right. Showing them off right there. Good move. What does that even mean, Kevin? <laughs> bounce to the outs? <laughs> And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. For Cleveland, they've gone 3-3 three three from the field since halftime. Elvin over the pass to Waiters. Cleveland moving it around. Elvin over kicks to Waiters. Lock at six. Paul Millsap with the rebound. Millsap's got four rebounds now tonight. Two minutes into the second half of play now, and Carroll gets it to go. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. And so here's Cleveland. They trail by nine points. Let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team. He talked to his guys about the importance of functioning as a unit and on the need to help each other find open shots on the perimeter. He said also that their offense needs to be a patient one. He told them, don't rush things. Use as much of that shot clock as you need to. Those are likely not the last adjustments they make today, guys. There's still time left in this one. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Here's Double it over. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And yeah, they're moving the ball now. Eight of the last ten points coming off assisted buckets. Steve, nothing makes a coach smile as much as pure, selfless teamwork.
Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Well, you look at the captain, second in the league, having an excellent season. And what a run he's been on, guys, establishing himself at the perfect time here in the postseason. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Kicks it to Carroll. Here is Corver. Here's Chen. Again, the Hawks score. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. His shooting has been off the charts. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Here's Delavido. Love dishes to Delavido. Atlanta with the rebound. Millsap's got his fifth rebound in this one. Corbett gets to Millsap. Fires from deep. The shot will not go. And in Cleveland the other way now. Love the pass to Delavidova. LeBron outside. He feeds it to Delavidova. Dishes it to Waiters. Shot clock at six. From 11 feet away, that's good. Waiters got four points this quarter. Boy, I'm surprised he took that shot. You know, he was at a huge size disadvantage in that matchup, but boy, great job to bury it. Addition out to Kier. The pass to Chen. The 19-foot shot. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Here's Della Vidal. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And Waiters kicks to Love. The jump hook. And it comes off the front of the rim. And the whistle blows. It's going to be an Anderson Verajot. That is his first foul of the game. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Thompson, he's checked in for Verja. Marion comes in for Kevin Love. Jones checked in for LeBron. And Mike Miller subbed in for Matthew Delavidova. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Payne, he's checked in for Horford. Scott comes in for Paul Milson. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Damari Carroll. And it's Teagan for Kyle Corbett. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Waiters dishes to Marion. Miller kicks to Waiters. Feeds it to Thompson. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's on Adrian Payne. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Atlanta. They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. Well, it seems to me that they're taking a lot of pride in their rebounding tonight. It's go time. Check in. I'm on it. Twelve seconds left to play in the third. Teague the pass to Baseman. And that comes off the assist by Jeff Teague. Teague's got his third assist on the night. Here's Miller. Misses the shot. And a great show through three quarters. As we enter the fourth, who will carry the day? Hawks lead by nine. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And thanks for joining us once more as we get set to continue our coverage of the Eastern Conference Semis and our State Farm Assist of the Game replay. Great offensive play that we've seen from Delavidova. And you got to love that play, guys, but it's been one after another for him all game long. He just has that uncanny awareness of where his teammates are on the court all the time. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Marion is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Miller. Then it's Matthew Delavidova. And it's Thompson in its center. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. James outside. Just five to shoot. Pulls up on the wing. Perfect on the shot. Swishes it through. 
LeBron's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Cleveland. The Hawks leading by seven. Here's Chen. And some very quick points for him on that possession. They've built this lead through plays exactly like that. He's easily been their most consistent performer. Well, he's been splashing everything today. Pass to LeBron. Trying to get open is Thompson. James misses. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. Bazemore dishes to Teague. Teague left side, shot from 12, and too long on the shot. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one, short stroked it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. The Cavaliers trail by 11. Delavidova kicks to Thompson. There's the feed to LeBron. Thompson passes to James. Miller outside. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And again, LeBron missing. The Hawks leading by 11. Here's the captain. Misses, and he wants that one back. Miller dishes to Delavidova. LeBron outside. Jacks up a three. The shot is off, and Atlanta will go the other way with it. A poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Into Millsap, and stolen by James. Miller kicks to James. It's stolen by T. Here's the captain. Puts it up from 15. That's good. And so Teague with the assist. Teague's got four assists in the game. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Anderson Verajas checked in for Thompson. Love comes in for Sean Marion. And it's Waiters in for Mike Miller. Damari Carroll's checked in for Atlanta. Corver comes in for T. Burke has for us. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what David Black said to the team. He rallied the troops saying, nobody said it was going to be easy. They're not laying down. They're not going away. If we want this game, we have to take it from them. Kevin, plenty of fire in that speech. And good on the basket. Look at 13 points for Dion Raiders. Well, since we hit half number two, he's finally come around. But the first half was not his best, obviously. Here's Chen. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Cavaliers trail by 10. And here's Love for three. Paul Millsap with the rebound. Millsap's got eight rebounds in this game. He dishes it to Corbett. Here's the captain. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Perizhov's got five rebounds tonight. LeBron with it. He's picked up by Milson. Here's Love. And the lead is down inside single digits. He is just so good from that range, guys. You know, never mind with the height advantage he had there. Passes it to Corbett. the pass to Chen. Tries it from 19. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Love's got six rebounds in the game. And Raiders kicks to Berejao. James outside. Launches it. And Horford pulls it down. Horford's got his third rebound on the night. Looks like he's lost his focus a little bit. Not playing well in this quarter. Here's Chen. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. The captain's got 10 points here in the second half.
119 left in the fourth quarter. There is Zhao. Passes to James. There is Zhao setting the pick for James. And Waiters kicks to LeBron. Pass to Delavidova. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, he got waxed. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. Shooting for Cleveland. Matthew Delavidova. So the first one drops, and that brings them within single digits. And so he makes both from the line. Left to play here in the fourth. Here's the captain. Just five on the clock. He kicks it to Kira. Hits the three point bomb. And the Hawks lead by 11. A serious game clinching run. They've Taken off here. Impressive. No backing off. What a surge at the right time. LeBron drives in. There's the bucket. Good. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. Atlanta's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Chen passes to Carroll. Good. Boy, you relish these sorts of road games where. You come in and you get the job done. In a long schedule with the kinds of pressure of travel and tough opponents throughout the season, it's always good when you play a game like they have here. The 10-footer. And again, it's Cleveland. for two. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so the Hawks take the win. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, Al, Coach mentioned he wanted to be prepared to come into this building and do whatever was necessary to win. Do you feel like the team played with that level of intensity? Yeah, no question. I, I like the energy from our team from the beginning. Um, you know, uh, to be able to come in here and, and get a win like this, it, it feels good. Tough place. Well done on the win. We appreciate it, Al. Guys, over to you. Thank you, Doris. Time for us to say so long. Thanks for watching our coverage of the second round of the NBA playoffs. For Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying,